The Agricultural Land Reserve has come under scrutiny lately with a move to change some aspects of it. The provincial government hopes to make it easier to develop some properties within the ALR. The proposed changes are the focus of a talk at the library tonight. However, the urgency of the topic has been relieved a bit. The proposed changes under Bill 24 were first introduced in the legislature in March, but have come under fire ever since. My starting point is that I like farmland, preserving farmland. So I was certainly concerned that there'd be any changes to start with. And then I'm also, I also like the fact that it's a strong provincial statement. And there's some, st some aspects of the bill that weaken that provincial statement that, um, and makes it more subject to local interests. Specifically, the changes would split the province into two different zones, south and north, which would free up the rules around development of lands in the interior and the north for things other than agriculture. The changes would also create six regional panels making decisions on the future of the lands in the ALR. Concerns were expressed about those panels being more readily influenced. We have to remember that, that the adjudication process, if people are unhappy, with the decisions that are made at the regional level, they will be adjudicated by an independent board uh, and uh, based on evidence. So it's not going to be based on any regional beliefs, it's not going to be based on anybody's whim or desire, it will be an evidence-based hearing. Bill 24 has been dubbed by critics as the pro-mining bill as it would loosen up the rules around converting ALR lands to different uses such as development. But Mike Morris says that is not the intention. Individual uh, uh, people that want to develop their property, um, you know, for a trucking company. Maybe a farmer's supplementing his income by having a, a trucking company and he needs to build a shop. So uh, we, I can see some development coming from that perspective. But uh, as far as mining goes, that's a totally different topic and, and, and guided by other rules. Since the proposed changes came to light, the provincial government has been taken to task, especially over the lack of public consultation. As early as this week, Agriculture Minister Norm Letnick stated the bill could be put on hold pending public input. Music to Dave Connell's ears. There were some of the immediate concerns with the lack of consultation prior to the announcement. So the current minister has immediately started some consultations and have met with provincial bodies and has indicated that he's going to have some form of a town hall session where he's going to reach out to all British Columbians. Letnick has said he will be open to changes or even withdrawal of the legislation entirely. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.